yeah hello good day viewers my name is don vip welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing us how to um how to um, get new uh, user agent and how to set up your firefox how to set up firefox and then um, assign a new user agent aside the old user agent method we've been using in fact i'm i'm, I'm pleased to tell you opportunity to tell you that the old user agent have been flagged by admob whether you like it or not uh, if you're using that method your account is at stake it's better you even run admob you click with that any user agent and for you to use the old method user agent your account will be flagged that user agent have been flagged um but in this video i'm not going to go into all you know i'm not going to start five for some from from from, from beginning account to make this video very short at least minimum of 10 minutes this video will not exceed 10 minutes so i will show us how to get the new user agent and how to integrate it to firefox and how to get 100 percent this video is going to be like two things two two um two topic or two um, kind of application in one what i mean application you're going to apply how to set a firefox at the same time how to get 100 percent anonymity before clicking and um, I'm also I'm not going to make this video public for everybody to see or to watch the view. I'm going to make it private. So if you don't have the link to the video, you cannot view um, this. Um, you cannot view this trick. I want to keep everything simple now. Um, in fact, I've, I'm not going to be showing some of my videos publicly. If you want it, if you have the link, good. If you don't have the link, then you just have to look for somebody. Somebody got to, to share the link for you to um, to assess the video especially this one that's to do with user agents we don't want them flagging this other agent so i'm not going to make it public okay let's get started first um you just have to um okay open your firefox already my firefox have been configured with a new um, um user agent so what i want to do now is to clear all of my firefox settings from my google from my from my phone settings so it to be like i just so it's to just look as if i just downloaded a new firefox i want to start afresh so that um even the newbies those that are running admin for the first time or that want to set up their firefox to be secure make it secure can actually learn so i'm gonna clear all data from my firefox so that i can um we can we can roll together start from the beginning okay and this um clearing of um, data also is applicable if you're running maybe a personal clicking you have a clicking application a group clicking application always clear your catches and your data after you've run any tax any tax if you if you're running personal clicking or impression after each click it is very, very advisable that you clear all data before you go for the next clicking too most of us ignore these steps it's, it's very, very important always clear data clear catches before making or initiating second tax third tax depending on the um, number of tax assigned to you okay i've cleared my firefox now so i'm just going to start from beginning now make sure you have um, the latest firefox store on your phone go to play store download or you go to another app store then you download okay let's get started the first thing you do first then um, the first thing you need to do is to um first of all check go to word of net um go to word.net why am i going to word.net i'm going to word.net so that by default you see uh, um sorry by default we'll see um all the informations about our current um browser the, the activity see the ip see if it's secured or not okay this by default as you can see in this video my anonymity here is just 16 percent okay let us finish with at times this um uh, anonymity might not be accurate until it finished loading understand once it has finished loading then uh, you can then uh, you can just agree with me that whatever you're seeing here actually is accurate okay for example look at the location i'm actually assessing this page from nigeria my network my host my operating system os is android and then um, the browser i'm using is firefox 6.5 then my language usa every other thing here you see nothing is safe and if you see my ip is showing nigeria you see my ip address is showing it is not hidden i seen it it is showing my ip is showing so want to disable um, this web, web RTC 
the essence is for us to uh, to hide our um, read time um, um, click or read time um, whatever all this here. I can't I can't recall what this here actually stands for now. Okay. Um, but it has to do with the read time stuff like that. And um, although it is optional, it's not a must. The reason why we are hiding the we want to disable this is for us to hide um, our IP. You understand? But if you are clicking with a VPN, um, don't use, don't hide your IP. You understand? It's only when you click a VPN and you're using Firefox as your default browser that you have to go through these settings. But if you are using other browsers that do not have um, um, Web T, Web ROTC extension, they just click direct without changing anything. So we want to disable this so that our IP will be hidden. So that it will be hidden. Okay. Um, the first thing I'll do is I'll go to my to my URL address, which is this place, and I'll type um um I'll type about about config. Okay. Here now I'm going to type about config. But before then, I don't want to. I want to. I want this um this whole page to be um to be cool. What I have to do is I'll create a new tab. I believe most of us know how to do that. I, I, I'm just going to click on this number here, this particular number. Understand? To create a new tab. I don't want to close the previous tab. That is the word dot next tab. I'll click on this post here. Then I'll tap about, about, then your column, then config. The config means configuration. Then it will take you to this configuration. Now there are so many options here. To start scrolling for the one you're looking for, you might not see it. Here. So if you know what you're looking for, just type it. Here. So we are searching for media dot peer connectivity. We want to enable it, and so I want to disable the web TRC or web web um, RTC. You can also get this uh, when you download them um, the extension um, via the add-ons. I don't want to go into that. Just type um, in this section. Type media. It doesn't matter whether you're typing in capital letter or small letters. Media dot peer Peer connection. Okay. Peer connection. Do it first. I will not tell you the answer. Dot enable. Okay. So media dot Once you get to this, make sure you put dot enable. And to show you this now, you see here now, you can see um, a right up here telling us true. As long as this true is consigned, that means our IP address will be visible. But once we disable this truth to false, then it will be hidden. Now all you just have to do is you touch it. Once you touch this place, it will give you this option to toggle between true or false. When you hit the toggle button, I mean this button, then you see it will change to false. You can toggle true, false, reset, true. You know, just toggle until you get false. You can also toggle from here. Click here, you get true or false. So what we're looking for is false. Then I'll just I'm done with this web TRC or web RTC, then I'll close the page. Then back to my ua.net then i'll reload the page and let's see if our time sorry if our uh, ip address is visible or not okay so i think we're done with that if you look at this section you discover that my web rtc is now disabled are you seeing it so the next thing we'll do now is to um my anonymity has increased to 55 percent initially it was 16 now it has increased to 55 percent um i'm actually um assessing this page from nigeria but my dns is showing better. jump so if you're clicking with uh, with a vpn it doesn't matter just click and you're good to go okay um then i what we want to do now i want to get an add-on understand an extension that will that will give us a new um agent um, either a, a new agent like operating system if you want to change to iOS that is um, iPhone and um, you know Apple kind of device then browser as it is now I want to click using for um, Firefox but over there in any database or any snooper or any network they will see Opera Chrome or whatever agent I feel I want them to see understand so that's what you want to do now so what you do next is um, you go to your add-ons click on menu most of us don't know that these three dots here happen to be menu for those that don't know this firefox menu okay i'll click on the three dots here then here you see add-ons extension add-ons uh, maybe later i will discuss i'll show you what add-ons is all about but now i don't want this video to be more than um let's say 20 minutes 
okay then i'll click on why it's going to be 20 minutes because of the anonymity because i want us to attain 100 percent anonymity else i will just show you how to configure this and i'll leave but for the sake of those watching this video for the first time how to set it up they will learn okay that's why i have to make the video lengthy a little then i'll go to add-ons click on add-ons now we are looking for a particular user agent you know we've all been using the random user agent and all that we are not going to use that again for now because that agent has been marked or flagged so i'm going to click on brass offer first agent now if you know the agent you're looking for you just tap it in the parameter the i mean the search um, um add-on search um, um box then you search it will give you the agent but if you don't know simply write user agent the agent i'm actually looking for is um user agent um um uh, user agent um so let's say switcher manager that's what i'm looking for i know the name but if you don't know the name just type user agent user agent then automatically it will it will give you all agents here you can see browse okay i'm looking for this user agent switcher management okay i'll touch it that's the agent i'm looking for okay the next thing you do is to install the agent what you do next is to install the agent how do you install the agent you just click on add to firefox then it after this section it will now prompt you to okay a kind of um, um permission any permission to be installed okay you just look at this permission you grant it by clicking on this add here okay i've added it then installation completes add-ons okay we are done with this section i can close this place now i can close this section close this section then back to our word.net when you go to your menu this time around you're going to see the user agent we just installed now okay now nothing has been done i'm going to click on this user agent now okay then here you see so many agents if you want to use by default not firefox default quite before we downloaded this agent it was firefox user agent default but now we've installed another agent now what you're seeing here is window you have to change from window to the operating system we want so i'm not going to use mac I'm not really not, I want to use Android. So understand because AdMob is actually meant for Android phone, not and uh, iPad and all that. So when you assess AdMob ads with a PC, your activity will be suspicious. That was what we, we failed to understand when we started. When we are using the random user agent, we use computer to view uh, you know banner ads and you know I, you know we all made mistakes. Like I used to tell most of my friends and my colleagues and um, those we run AdMob together, AdMob is a school that you can never graduate from whether you like it or not so this time i have selected android then what kind of browser do i want to use now okay by default i see chrome now that means if you want uh, them to feel like you're actually using chrome to click you can set it to chrome browser but one thing about me anything that has to do with google i actually give the google i give them their space and there's time space as in you know you don't know if your email is synchronized to google and you want to start clicking using google and stuff like that so i'm being careful with that but you can use chrome and still get 100 percent anonymity you can use firefox you can use any of this well, let me use um, Opera, I like Opera, Opera is safe in the sense that not everybody knows that you can use Opera so you can get 100% anointed Opera and Opera is also safe in terms of this clicking too so you select version of Opera, Android version maybe 2.2 and all that let's assume phone of 2.2 and I want to use this version here version 12.0 on Android 4.12 device not Android um, 2.0 I'm using Android 4.12 device but that's not my device make though but that's what I want to use and after selecting make sure this checkbox is ticked so you understand after selecting it the next thing you do is to apply click on this apply button to apply um to to accept that user agent you just selected i've applied it now i have to go back to my um, word.net this time around let me reload the page and let's see you notice something our operating system and browser will definitely change from what it is right now to another another kind of agent Okay, I'll just come here, swipe, and I'll reload the page. Already we have 55 um, anonymity there. Let's see if we can get um, 100%. Though we can't get 100% without VPN. Although most people say it's possible, it's possible, but so far so good. The chances are low, so you cannot get 100% without VPN like that. So, uh, whether you're using normal IP, just want to assess, you may not get 100%. If you want to get 100% anonymity, you need a VPN. Forget what you're saying there. Okay although the chances are low at times you want to see get the same 100 percent you not see it okay just wait for the page to complete loading okay now we have 100 percent but the chance is very low to tell it say it now based on the agent i, I selected opera 12 
I've got it 100%. So you can actually click with this 100% now if you want to run your ad mob. Now, like I said, not everybody know this file for this um, Opera Mini trick. You can get 100% Opera Mini. It has not been leaked yet, and I don't want it to be leaked. That is why I'm not going to make this video public. It's going to be private. Understand? Um, it's going to be private. Thank God for one or two person that actually brought my attention to this user agent. So, and you see, if you think I'm joking, go and download random user agent and see if you can get 100% anonymity time tira. You discover that you cannot. It's very very difficult so now you see without vpn i've gotten 100 percent but in some cases to be 90 you can still click with it so now that i've got 100 percent anonymity with nigeria the next thing i'll do now is to now go and them um, on my vpn because you want to use your vpn clicking so i will leave it i will leave this setting as my default so whether vpn is on or vpn is not on i'll be getting 100 percent clicking from nigeria perfect and good okay the next thing i will do now is to go and on my vpn already before i on my vpn already you can see that everything has changed i'm using android and the browser is showing opera 12.10 and my note is 100 percent i can click and i will you know with a very good icpc because i have this um, very nice um, vpn that gives icpc or all icpc country are listed there so if you're looking for a vpn that has ICPC, there are so many of them quite all right but this type of vpn has been cracked understand and um, you don't need to pay it's a premium application that has been cracked by some gurus some guys like that so you select some um, server here let's assume i want to use france for example now okay you see if you can see not all vpn has this booster this booster you're seeing i'm lighting and all that you know that means it's something let me not talk about the vpn uh i'm gonna use france then i'll on the vpn once it on it shows you a key around your notification environment that means it's connected and it also shows you connected here so let's wait for the VPN to connect. Once it's connected, we we'll proceed. Okay. It has been connected now. It's connected now. So the next thing I'll just go back to my Firefox. Okay, by default, what you see here is Nigeria. Then I'll reload and see let's see if we can get France as our location and then our D your DNS at time wasn't wasn't show France. If it doesn't show France on the DNS, no problem. As long as there's something like NA. NA means not available. Should you understand? it's okay it's either i get it will don't get any other country and understand if you're using france and you're seeing nigeria so dns don't click with that country it's not safe it's not good or your proxy is showing yes and it's marked x and an x please you don't click with it be careful that's a note so you either go and change another location vpn location before you click you see as you can see now i'm using france you and i know i'm using france but my vpn my dns is showing me not available but if you come to my location I'm using France. So most of us will be using maybe you're using United States as your VPN location. It's showing USA and it's showing you another country you don't click. Or maybe you, your VPN location is USA and you're seeing Nigeria here. Please don't click. That VPN is not too good. Change the VPN. So the I, I okay, this is how you get 100 percent anonymous. Another thing also is this in some cases you get everything, maybe you'll be getting 80-90% anonymity. Always check your time, the time zone. Make sure your system time zone tallies with the local time zone. What do I mean by system and local time zone? In this section, this local time zone, that is the VPN time zone. Let's say it's the United States. You tell you okay, United States that time that at this particular time, at this particular hour, the time will be here. So this is the time zone. You might see maybe plus 15 here. Maybe you might be seeing plus 15 or plus 2 or plus 3 plus 4. And if your own time zone, which is this local one, which is this local time zone, if your local time zone is showing something else, please adjust your local time zone. Let your local time zone look exactly like this. You see, if this is if this particular time zone is maybe um 15, and this one is 12, you have to adjust this other one. I'm clicking now to be 12, to be 15. It must be equal. As you can see, mine is the same thing, plus 100 and all that GMT, and it's cool. That just after that, reload the page again. You will get 100% anonymity. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to like my video. I'll be very, very happy um, if you like my video. I'll be very, very happy if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll be very pleased if you can also hit the bell, the bell icon for notification for more videos. And do not forget to share this video. Don't just I'm not gonna make it public, but if you have friends that are into add more, please share this video. Let them know these things. Understand? I am committed to making sure that Nigerians will earn from add more without being banned. Understand? Banning days are over. With this method, I don't think we'll have any issue. If they want to ban our account, it's not from this other aspect also. Thanks for watching.